Welcome. I want to thank you for, for coming to our video today. We're going to review all the various uh, vinyl siding profiles available to you as a homeowner or contractor, and there's a ton of them. So we're going to just do a real basic review of all these. We're going to start off, panels come in either single, double, or triple profiles. We're going to start real simple with the single profiles. There's not a lot of these. Uh, and this one right here, it's kind of a specialty one. This is a single six and a half inch beaded, as Eric's showing you here. Now you can get, uh, you know, it has a special bead on it. There's some panels that come in a single eight and things like that, but this is the most prominent single panel. Let's move over to the most popular category of vinyl siding. That is the double panels. It looks like real wood and the grain is uh, very similar, but this is probably the largest panel that's used in the industry today. It's a double four clapboard siding. And when we say double four, as you see here, Eric's showing you it's double and each one is the four inch exposure you end up. So you end up with a lot less uh, horizontal laps with the uh, horizontal siding. So we wanna show you another one. He may keep that double four up there. We're gonna show you a double five. It's just a wider panel. It's just a little bit wider, and some people want that on bigger houses, so he's showing you that. Now, let's show you something that's kind of unique in siding. In real wood, there's a lot of parts of the country that use a Dutch lap profile. So we offer it in vinyl siding. He's showing you the profile. Very good. You see how it comes off the wall and goes back? These come in really two basic styles. Well, maybe three, four and a half Dutch lap double, uh, double five-inch Dutch lap, and some people may have a double five and a half inch, but those are the Dutch lap panels and they're just a different look. Now, the, the last horizontal siding we want to show you in the triple is a triple three. It's a very common for smaller homes. Again, each piece is three inches and you get three of them in each panel. So again, the different profiles are just the preference of a homeowner. Normally, the smaller the profile, usually the smaller the surface of the wall on the house, but not always. So there's a lot of different options. Now we want to show you a larger option that's available to you. And these two options and are, are usually foam back that can support the wider width. So this is uh, the Ply Gems uh, foam back panels. This is a double six. It's a beautiful panel. Looks like uh, real wood. We also even have a, a wider one, which is a single seven. So <clears throat> that gives you two great options in wide panel profiles. Let's flip over and just talk a little bit about vertical siding. It's a growing part of our industry. And one of the most common parts of vertical siding is what we call board and batten. Now this is a very common board and batten. All the ply gem lines have it. It's a total width of seven inches and the batten part is an inch and a half. It's a very flat panel. It can go on the whole house. A lot of people use this on accents in the gables and the doorway. So it's a great product to consider. Now, another product you can do uh, use in the vertical line is what we call our soffit lines. And we're showing you our triple three and a third here, but there's many different profiles in aluminum and vinyl that you can go from three and a third to a four inch panel. That would be like a, a triple four, a double five, and you can even go to like a six inch or a double six in aluminum soffit. So these make great, beautiful vertical lines on the house. Again, mainly for the gable areas and dormers, but some houses have it on the full house if it's a contemporary style. Now, remember, all these profiles, before we show you the shakes, they come in many, many colors, especially the standard double fours and double fives. You can be up to 40 colors in different uh, film colors and multicolors and weather. So always remember, there's a lot of options. Now, if you really want to get fancy, we're going to show you what you can use on a house. It's called the shake and shingle line that's available to you. Now, what we have here is four different profiles. I want to explain them to you. On Eric's uh, right hand, he has the uh, half round shingle, very traditional, very Victorian, not used on a whole house very often. And as you go left to right on the screen, the next one is probably the most common. It's a double seven. So each section is seven inches. We call those perfection shingles. If you go all the way over to the far right, there's another perfection shingle. And that's a triple five. So you can see how many profiles are in each section. And these have all the same widths and lengths of the sections. But for a really great look, it's the hand split shake, which is <clears throat> in the middle of the panel section. And this is very rough sawn, different widths, different lengths. So those are four great options of shake. Even with these, usually through Ply Gem, you can get up to 40 colors. Some are weathered. A lot of great options, a lot of profiles, vertical and horizontal that you can get from Ply Gem. And we just want to make sure you know what's available to you. So thanks again for seeing our uh, video and uh, look at all the other options and see what other things that you can see and learn from Ply Gem YouTube videos. Thank you.